Hello and welcome to another video tutorial from computergargar.com. This tutorial will look at inserting a table of contents into a Word document. Now I have a Word document on screen in front of me at the moment, perfectly set up for the use of a table of contents. The main thing to bear in mind before you look at inserting a table of contents is it needs to be formatted correctly. The most popular and best way of setting this up is to use heading styles. This document is already using them. As you can see, I, in the document I'm within this solar system heading at the moment, and on the home tab I can see it's formatted using a heading one style. The sun, the similar procedure, and same as I go through in a solar system is a heading one. And now we have some subheadings. Heading two, terrestrial planets. Heading three for Mercury. Heading three again and so on as we go through back to heading 2 so the structure is there Microsoft Word will use these styles uh, not only as a way of formatting them making them look like headings making them look the way we want creating that kind of theme throughout our document but it will also provide its structure I meaning that when we look at inserting the table of contents it will be very easy okay coming back to page 2 then we need to create our space first of all so I'm just going to pop into insert and put in the page break to throw that content onto page three. And I'll just click into my empty space on page two. Table of contents can be found on the references tab of Word 2007. Insert and then references for those in older versions. And table of contents. And Word will now drop down a list of table of contents formats, some kind of building blocks that we can use. I am a, a fan of the second one with a kind of table of contents full heading. And if I click on that, that will be it. Table of contents is inserted. Word knows where, you know, what page each heading appears on because it goes through looking for them heading styles. Doesn't understand the content, it looks for its format. Now the great thing is that it was really quick and easy to put a table of contents in, but even better if things change in time. So at the moment the sun heading begins on page 3, but I could insert another page break. I mean it's now page 4 that the sun begins on. If I come back to my table of contents on page 2, it still believes that the sun is on page 3, which it is not. Table of contents, in fact anything in Word, it kind of calculates itself and it's automated you don't have to worry about it you know it's relying on a field for that kind of power table of contents use fields I can recognize it with the gray shading as well which means I could always right click on that field and update it or press F9 table of contents will always ask if you want to update the page numbers only or the entire table in this scenario I only need the page numbers because I haven't created any additional content, I haven't removed anything, I've merely moved it around. So I'll click on OK, and the sun is now on page 4. And that is a table of contents. So really all the hard work was done, which is to go through and format everything consistently using heading styles. Which you can always format to maybe look a bit more appealing than the ones in this example. Once it's done, the table of contents will be an absolute breeze. It's an easy process, very powerful feature in Word. And as you can see, you can update it uh, as and when that document changes in time. Thank you for watching. Please check us out at computergargod.com. Lots more office tutorials and tips on there. Check out some of our other video tutorials on our YouTube channel.